Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's autograph video number 62. Now a problem that I found quite a few students have and in fact a problem that I have myself is get my head around the number of lines of symmetry of a rectangle. Now most students and myself are pretty happy that a square has four lines of symmetry but why doesn't a rectangle have four lines of symmetry as well? Well we can actually investigate this using autograph and I'm going to construct the page kind of in front of your, your very eyes here because it features quite a few important things that it's useful to be able to do on autograph like hiding objects and all that kind of thing and this is going to form a little double bill with next week's where, where I'm going to look to try and generalize this for any quadrilateral so we're going to have to go quite speedy here so I've just got a 2d graph page I'm going to get rid of the key so a little right click show key um, I'm going to go to edit axes and the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the axes because the numbers aren't really going to help me. So I'm going to click none there and I'm going to go on ranges and just change this from minus six to six. And that'll just give me slightly smaller squares. Perfect. All right. First thing is I need a rectangle. So I'm going to go for a little two by four job. So point there, point there. Uh, point, <laughs> make sure my math is right and point there. Uh, in select mode, just drag around those right click and fingers crossed group to shape will work like a treat well the first thing is i'm just going to show a little vertical line of symmetry so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create half a rectangle down here so again in point mode pop a point there a point there a point there and a point there and this is something that you've probably construct before the students come in the room uh, drag around those right click and group to shape <clears throat> and now i need my line of symmetry so i'm going to go back into point mode i'm going to pop a point there I should have said, sorry, at the start, please make sure your grid snap settings are at one for this so everything goes on nicer uh, in the corners of the little grid lines. So I'm in point mode with that point selected, right click and fingers crossed, vertical line is there. There's my lovely line of symmetry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, in select mode, just click make sure uh, nothing else is selected and I'm going to do a little reflection. So I'm going to select this line, I'm going to hold down shift, um, oh, I'm in whiteboard mode so I don't need to actually uh, click on that half of the square right click and fingers crossed i'll get reflection and there's a reflection there <coughs> excuse me and um, there's my complete rectangle i'm just going to color this one in so i'm going to click that and if i hover up here and i'll make him blue as well and i'll make my lines dark blue so everything's matching and what's quite nice is i can show the students that that is a line of symmetry because if i just uh, select that point that defined the vertical line and chuck him to the right one it's the exact same shape either side which is quite nice so there's the vertical line of symmetry and you can do the exact same thing for a horizontal line of symmetry but what happens about this diagonal line of symmetry right this gets a little bit complicated but just bear with me uh, the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create the shape that's formed when I slice that in half which is the little right angle triangle so I'll just do it round about here I can move it in a second it's going to be four going across and it's going to be two going down so if I just drag around that in select mode right click uh, group to shape there it is there and I'm going to need this line of symmetry in. I can define a line that just goes straight through those two points, but the problem is I won't be able to move it then without messing up this shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to create myself a line segment that's exactly the same. So if I go one, two, three, four across in point mode and two down, there is a line segment. And if I now in select mode, select that point and select that point and right click, I should get line segment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a point somewhere down here and I want to define a line that is parallel to that line segment and goes through that point. So my point selected, I'm going to select my line segment, I'm going to right click and fingers crossed I'll get parallel line. Now that line's not going through my uh, uh, corners of my rectangle but it is now and um, if that shape wasn't lined up I could just move it around and just get it lined up probably I'll probably go down there something like that I'm now going to be a little bit devious and I'm going to hide how I've done this so I'm going to drag around that right click and I'm going to go for hide points and I'm going to click that right click and hide object and now I can show the students because if I click on that rectangle and I click on that line segment and I right click I can do a reflection and I can show that it definitely isn't a line of symmetry for the rectangle. Now I completed, I, I spent a little bit more time before shooting the video and put this page together and it was a bit fancier with dashed lines and so on but I think that's quite nice for showing the students the different lines of symmetry of a rectangle. As I say next week we're generalizing to any quadrilateral so make sure you're tuned in for that and have a nice week and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.